Hello. Welcome to this film about being a student here at KMPT. We truly value the energy that students bring to the organisation and there are around 300 of you at any point in the year working with us on placement. This film is important to make sure that you get a sense of us as an organisation, what you can expect from us on placement and importantly what we can offer you. I can still remember, um, it's a long time ago, but I was a student nurse in 1983, I qualified in 87, and I can still remember my placements, I can still remember the people who coached, mentored and supported me, and I can still remember the placements that were so supportive, so encouraging, so enjoyable and educative. And that's what we want to create here at KMPT so that every single placement is a really good placement for you. So whether you're coming from an OT background, nursing, psychology, um, mental health nursing, general nursing, it could be any sorts of the professions, you're very welcome. Enjoy the film, think about what you're looking for from your placement and importantly, think about what sort of job you want with us when you're qualified. There are three and a half thousand of us in this organisation. We're highly rated, um, we have outstanding services and we want you to be part of it and to stay part of it. Inductions are an essential part of the process when joining KMPT on the placement. We ask that all students plan in advance and prepare for their placement. So my student induction followed after my interest in wanting to become an occupational therapist. The trust really supported me, explaining how and what the process was, it explained the course and I also had an induction with the university as well. Have a think about what you want to achieve and how you want to learn. Lots of resources can help you, your own university's website but also our trust website will help you and there's always someone to ask. It's vital that a student completes their pre-placement visit to alleviate their own anxieties so they can meet the team, know the workplace and they will know what's expected of them before they start placement. To prepare for my placement, um, we did some work at university first of all to get ready to work with people on a mental health ward. Um, then I was in contact with my practice educator um, who went through all the different things I'll be doing while I was working on the ward as also out in the community um, and also looked at what we were wearing, what we'd be doing and how they'd support me um, while I was working with them. As a placement facilitator, we always recommend students do a pre-placement visit. That's just so that they can get to know where the, the building is, where the team's based, and actually get to meet their mentor or educator and the team in general. It, it relaxes people just ready in advance of their first day. So my first day on placement, although nervous, was really exciting and I was integrated really well into the team, introduced to the tea and coffee facilities, which is really important, and just felt generally really welcomed. Your mandatory training must be up to date and we can support you to do this by having access to our e-learning system. That will make things much easier. You might be asked to produce evidence of your training, so bring along copies with you. Making contact with your mentor or educator in plenty of time and in advance of the placement will help you agree all the things you need to know. So what are the working patterns, what's the dress code, where do you have lunch? What's the expectation about your caseload? Um, and you can also ask any questions that you might have, as well as those specific learning support needs you might have. And the, the earlier you do that, the better, really. We want you to really enjoy your placement and to bring your whole self to it. So, once your placement begins, you will be given the relevant information and training to complete your given tasks competently. Of course, that's a given. But taking into account the course you're on and your enthusiasm for your work, there will be a steady learning curve and we'll help you with that. We encourage all our staff, including students, to show initiative and push themselves to achieve the best possible care for our service users. We offer a wide variety of learning to the students. We encourage them to access other services such as community, carers, ECT, other working age groups. I think the most important resource that we can provide students is a named mentor or educator, so someone to work with for that day-to-day -day practice learning that they have. 
Then we have more physical resources, so we have access to laptops so they can then physically do the job that they need to do. Um, but before they have that, they would also have access to our training. That's the same as what the staff would have. Learning and Development can offer a wide range of support to students um, within our trust. We have a large amount of e-learning courses. They're given a certain amount to do when they join, but they are always more than welcome to go through what we offer and complete those on top of what we ask them to. We also have lots of internal courses as well that they will have access to. And we also put on lots of conferences and would ensure that they're aware of these and have the opportunity to book on any that they feel really would be relevant to themselves and would help them. It is really important that you have a safe and worthwhile placement with us. So, we believe strongly in having the right support available to you at all times and we expect all our staff to be involved in your learning and development. So, in addition to your mentor, there will be other staff who can support you, including practice placement facilitators, the interprofessional team, the learning development team. Of course, you'll also have access to additional support from your university, and these will include your senior lecturer in practice, placement link tutor, and of course, the academics. Within CAMPT, we really think it's important to support our students. We are working collaboratively for the students to feel supported. I think if the students have a range of support staff available, it gives them a really true insight into what the job role would involve at KMPT. The support I received whilst on placement at KMPT was vast. I received local support from my team members and regular supervision contact with my practice placement mentor. But most importantly, I felt able to ask for help if I needed it. The things that make a student stand out is when they're proactive, they're enthusiastic and passionate about their work and that they actually come to you and ask to learn. We strongly believe in the value of student placements and we want you to have the best possible experience of being on placement with us. We also want to attract the best possible staff so our hope is always that great students will want to stay with us and have fabulous careers in KMPT. Through showing your initiative, commitment and enthusiasm, the full potential of your placement can be realised. So don't hold back, show us what you can do. The opportunities that I got whilst on placement with KMPT were wide ranging and diverse, but most special to me was the opportunity that I got to start my own occupational therapy group alongside a psychologist. My enthusiasm is my passion for nursing. As a student with KMPT, I really enjoyed the range of placements and the opportunity to develop my skills. Feedback from students is really important to us. You bring fresh eyes, fresh ideas, energy and the latest training and we want you to help us drive up the quality of care we provide. So tell us what you think, share your thoughts and don't be shy. I've had lots of opportunities to give feedback while I've been on placement. These have included actually being included in the team day that was running um, and within that team day being asked my opinion on how I felt about different things that were going on and that being listened to and things happening from that as well as having a mid-placement review and also at the end of the placement when I was actually able to give my feedback um, to the team um, and actually so they could respond and know how to improve things for future placements. We believe that working in our sorts of services, so mental health, learning disability, substance misuse services, is an honour and a privilege. And we are delighted that you, as a student, want to come on placement with us. So really enjoy it. Take every ounce out of it that you can and give back. Make sure that you're contributing to making our services even better by bringing your whole self to your placement. And talk to us. Don't wait until you're on the verge of qualifying to think about what sort of job you want. Come and talk to us soon about where you would like to work and what you'd like to do. We'll welcome that conversation. I was a HCA within KMPT and then KMPT supported me through my training. My first placement was amazing and now I'm actually the manager there and I still access all the mentors that I had during that time for support and guidance. In my third year as a student nurse I was offered a management placement in forensics. It was a challenge um, which I really, really enjoyed. After a few weeks the manager offered me a position within the team and that was wonderful because my passion for nursing can shine here. 
I can work with the patients and the staff to hopefully improve. So for a student, it's really important that they learn uh, not just about their own profession, but other professionals. So we, we really do expect them to work as part of a multidisciplinary team. And that will mean going out with other professionals and also seeking access to other services. In that way, they really get a rounded opportunity of their learning. We, we want them to know not only about their role, but actually what about the services that we're providing. That then sets them up really for their career. They can then look at what other services we provide in KMPT, but then they may have that insight and go, well, you know what, I want to work in that service. It's something I want to do. And they wouldn't have known about it had we not given that opportunity. What's special about placements at KMPT is the long-lasting connections that you, you build and the rapport you build with students and staff. My time at KMPT as a student nurse on placement was very special. I got to work within a team and work towards patients' recovery. I think what made the placement for me so special was actually being able to do so many different things and seeing every aspect of how mental health services worked within KMPT. What's so special about a placement in KMPT? I think it's a great place to work, so if we start off you having that learning experience, it's, it's a great career, it's, it's the way to go. So, that was our film. We really hope you enjoyed it. What we really wanted to convey is a sense of us as an organisation. We are enormously caring. We care about our staff. We obviously care about our patients and their loved ones. And importantly, we care about students and making sure that you have the best possible experience with us because that will make you hopefully want to stay with us and be part of being the best sort of organisation. So, have a think about where you want to take your placement to. Talk to us, there's lots of information on our website and the film will give you further details. But importantly, keep talking to us and let us know how it's going. We want to hear from you.